First pitch is hit deep to right field, but it's playable, I think. Back now the right fielder at the wall. It is not playable. It's gone. A home run for Chris Ayers as Crawford was fooled, and I was watching the outfielder rather than the ball, and he came charging in and all of a sudden put on the brakes as Ayers rides it out of here, and it's 1-0 Indiana State. Did enough, Luke. I, I... A little concerned when we started. I thought our energy was way down, um, and I and I felt we would have a little bit of that. You know, we we tried to change the tempo of the pregame and all of those things. Just to, when you get back at midnight and you turn around, you're up in the morning and trying to get ready to come back and play again. It's it's just different. You know, I'm not going to say it's that tough, um, but it's just different. It's a different uh, schedule, and I think it took the guys a little bit. And we finally kind of got into. I thought Chris Ayers' home run was really big in terms of getting us going, and then. What can you say about Tyler Whitbread? I mean, he was excellent again today. And, and uh, really, you get to this stage of the tournament, and I think what was so impressive was they, they put up a 10 spot yesterday against Missouri State. And so they felt really good offensively coming in here today. Um, and I just thought he did a great job of, of shutting them down and giving us an opportunity to win this one. I felt there were two critical junctures in terms of when Tyler was out there. The fourth inning where you kind of get, I think, Lyon in the rundown at third. Ball got away from Max, and you end up with third and second with one out. Wild pitch brought a run in, but that, that could escalate, and it was still a tie game. And then, of course, when the bases are loaded and you're up, I think, three to one at that point, Whitbread yet again was able to get you out of that jam. Yeah, I, you know, I think in the Max was auditioning for, for the football team again. He decided to drop kick that thing to third, and we didn't get anybody. But, you know, the Whit didn't panic, and our team didn't panic. I thought that was the big thing. I mean, obviously, you get in that situation. We get into it a few times last night, and it turned out pretty bad. Uh, and then you get right back in it, and you, you can't help but have the thoughts of last night. But just credit to the guys for Whit for hanging tough and the guys for playing solid defense in that sequence, big strikeout, ground ball, and next thing you know. I, I think that really changed the flow of things. In an elimination game, is that the biggest thing you want to see above all else, just obviously winning the game, but see your team tested, have some adversity after a tough night? And knowing that they're able to push through it when very easily, you know, you've been around it a long time, probably had some teams that it could have gone the other way. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, when you get in that loser's bracket, you've had some adversity. Uh, I, I think it's just to understand that obviously the, crop, the clouds aren't sitting on top of you. you got to go out and do some things to win a game. And, you know, we got a few big home runs. we got a well-pitched game. I, I think at this point you just work toward tonight. And now when you get to tonight, how much does really now when you get to this point in the tournament, Knowing you got to win the night to get to Saturday, and then ultimately, if you want to win the whole thing, you got to win two on Saturday. But it's really, you always preach to your guys, it's inning by inning, yeah. it's one at bat, bat, how much you get now, and it really reinforces that. That's what I was about to preach to you. You're talking Saturday. <laughs> we're just, we're into figuring out how we're going to pitch tonight, how we're going to line up. And I just told the guys, you know, obviously, we're going to have a lot of guys out there. We throw strikes, keep it in the park. I, I'll take our chances. I like our chances against anybody.